because I realize when I stand back from it, I feel like I'm kind of looking at puzzle pieces all interlocking. Um, I don't know what it, you know, how other people perceive it, but I know from my perspective, I was looking at it, and I see figures on one level, and then at a certain point, I, uh, you know, I, I stood back, I realized there was a whole other dimension to this thing, that I realized that I felt like each individual kind of component between the, the different forms, which look very human, and then some of the other elements, all look like individual pieces that kind of come together. I've got my eye on one already. It's awesome. Very talented. Love his work. I like the human animal themes throughout these two so far. Gus Harper is an artist that I am continually um, blown away by. This is the one. I'm really drawn to the florals, the soft ones right here with the gray, along with this one over here. Uh, my new angel. This is my friend Fabiana. I'm Autumn. Hi. And uh, I collect a bunch of Gus's work, so he's bringing this other piece up that I can take with me. But look how beautiful this is. I mean, this, oh, that's this nice. angel is all like, bring it. I love the contrast of the turquoise and the red hair. It's obviously telling a, a story. It's called The Soul Traveler. We're huge fans of Gus. We were just joking. My entire house is, is covered in Gus's artwork. His next show should just be in my living room.